Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, India, also known as Yes Honey Honey, and you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Yes Honey Honey, and then subscribe to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a textured girls hair hair care favorites. Okay, so my hair has gone through it in the past, not growing, very textured, a very like mixed girl hair. Like it's not straight, it's not curly, but it's really dry. And I started doing Brazilian blowouts probably four years ago. In recent months, I've come to find out how unhealthy that is for not only your hair, but your body. So I will no longer be doing Brazilian blowouts. So the, these favorites will probably change here in about a couple months because I'm gonna have to probably rework my system. I don't know yet. But he neither here nor there. Um, as of right now, these are my current hair care favorites. And if you have textured, curly, dry hair, like these things have really worked for me. And I think some of them have really helped my hair start to grow. Um, my hair was at the same length for a long time. Like it never grew. Like it, I don't know. And in the last, probably in the last year, I have seen the most substantial growth difference in my hair than I have in my entire life. This is like, it's crazy. So we're going to go through some hair care favorites and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So the first thing is, I will say, do I want to start with, mm, no. Okay. We'll do, we'll start with like hair washing vibes. Okay. So I will say I used to use purple shampoo more frequently. Now I use it like every other wash and I only wash my hair once a week. But if I do use a purple shampoo, it's gonna be the Amika. And this Amika has been really good and they reformulated it. The first formula I actually was not a fan of. Now this new formula, I like it. I, don't, I feel like it's honestly not as drying, which is saying something for a purple shampoo. Purple shampoo can be very drying on the hair. Now this, I had never, never heard of this. This is the Kevin, Mer Kevin Murphy Restore Repairing Cleansing Treatment. This for my hair, for dry, if you have dry, coarse, textured hair, this is going to be your life saver. When I tell you, this is so amazing. I mean, I my hair has never been the same since I started using this. It's so moisturizing. And it's almost like, I washed my hair yesterday, so it's like, almost like the moisture just like, it doesn't fizzle out. Like honestly, I wash my hair once a week and I feel like, you know, towards the end, obviously, like day seven, it's like, okay, it's time to wash my hair. But it's not as dry, you know. But this, God, it's amazing for the moisture in my hair. And when you have dry hair, if you can find something that really works, it's like, holy crap, like this is like a game changer. Now, the last thing for while I'm, uh, well, no. I've got another thing for the shower. Okay, so I do use Olaplex number three. I'm currently out of it right now, or else I would be talking about that. I do use Olaplex number three. Now, Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, I cannot use. There's way too much protein in it. Way, 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 way too much protein in it. I cannot use it. But something else I also like, if you do not want to spend the coin on the Olaplex number three, because it's expensive, that small bottle is $28, is the Mark Anthony Grow Long Strengthening Conditioning Intense Hydration Treatment. This is amazing. What this does to my hair, it's so moisturizing. It leaves your hair very smooth. And when my hair was super curly, I used to use this once a week. Or yeah, once a week at least. And this would bring, like on honestly, it would bring moisture to very unmoisturized hair. Um, and this is, I'm not kidding you, I think this is $2.99 at Ulta. Mark Anthony Grow Long. I will link all of these products down below. Um, but, and then the last thing for the shower, this is what I think has honestly helped my hair grow. This is one of those scalp massagers. I, I think this has really upped my hair game. And this was, I think, $3.99. I'll link this also. So you take that when you have your shampoo in your hair, not your purple shampoo, your regular shampoo. Like my regular shampoo, I kind of go in between because I haven't found a shampoo I love. So not just my purple shampoo because you need to shampoo before you purple shampoo. Also, a little extra note. But this, so I have my shampoo in my hair and then I scrub the ever-loving crap out of my scalp. I'm like... <sighs> 
but it gets all the buildup out of your pores like all of your pores it gets all that buildup or any dryness or all that buildup from different types of oils and sprays and straightening and blow drying that you might have done while you in between washes this gets it all out and it like it, it massages in a way too and it just and my hair has my hair has grown since i started using this a year ago my hair has grown and i think it's because i had buildup in the pores and or in the follicles i don't really know if it's i guess it's like a pore i don't know and i think that that started clearing it out and my hair started to grow so i'm just saying i'm just saying now let's talk about after shower hair care again something i am out of right now would be the old plex number six that is the bond smoother i love it i love that and I, I truly love that and i you know i hate that i love old plex so much because it's so expensive but it really is good minus the shampoo and conditioner couldn't stand the shampoo and conditioner not for me but also something i like to use would be the same brand which is the mark anthony this is the grow long leave-in conditioner also i think this played a factor into my hair growing truthfully but i've really really liked this also because it is moisturizing and so i'll put like my old plex number six in and then i'll go in with this and i really like this a lot very lightweight it's not super sticky in the hair after you get out of the shower and it's just a good little additional product then i always go in with when my hair is like half damp i'll go in with this amica blockage heat defense serum this is really nice it's again not a sticky serum it dries it's like a kind of like a dry oil in a way almost um and this is my heat protectant that I use. I use this every other day if I am going to put heat on my hair. I'm trying really hard not to do heat on my hair because I don't want my hair, you know, breaking off. And I'm going to have to change some things with my hair with this new routine of not doing Brazilian blowouts anymore. So there'll be another video on that, you know, because Lord have mercy. Now, let's go into hot tools. So I, I mean, this is going to be a really bougie section. I'm just saying. So my Dyson straightener, it's cordless. Obsessed with this. Obsessed with this, okay? Absolutely love it. Um, I like that one, it's cordless. I can walk, I literally walk around my house. I walk around my house with this. And I'm like, oh, I'm straightening my hair. Like I can even curl my hair with this. I really like it. The only downfall with this is the battery life on this and it is heavy. I will say this is an extremely heavy item. That's the only downfall on there though only downfall now this is the bougie bouge the bougie bouge now i've had this before this went crazy the last like two uh christmases i got this like three christmases ago but it is the big mama the dyson it is worth it i will say it is worth it it is really worth it it's very expensive it's very bougie it is very all the things but I personally believe that it's really worth it. I've really enjoyed it. And I really can't say anything bad about it, honestly. I really, I honestly truly have enjoyed it. One more oil I wanted to talk about though, which is a really, really weird random find, is from Beauty and Planet at Target. And I really like this on my ends. I like the smell of it. This is the Sandalwood and Grapeseed Natural Oils Infusion, Intense Hydration and Repair and Acts of Love for Our Planet. <laughs> I've really liked this. I've gone through like three bottles of this. I've been using this for a while. I love the smell. I love what it does to my hair. And what I like about it too is it says that you can do it like on your skin. So I'll put it in the ends of my hair and then I'll rub it on the back of my hand. And it's like moisturizing my hands and my hair at the same time. Just kind of love that, you know. Okay. And then let's talk about some hair accessories. We all fell in love with these. But let me tell you something. Where you're missing out, if you have thick, longer hair, this shape people this is the shape to get this is my ride or die i have this in four colors and i like this more than i like my banana clip which i don't get me wrong i still use my banana clip all the time but this style obsessed amazon i will link this down below i love it this is what i do when i do like my little high ponies when i don't i really don't use ponytail holders much anymore i mean i have one in today but most of the time it's a clip nowadays i'm like oh, this is the best the best the best and i will link that down below i just have to find it because it was a hard it was like a weird little pack that i bought and i don't see many people with that shape so but i will find it um and then the other thing would be for the shower which is these i have like 10 of these you get these on amazon also in like a six pack for like probably like eight bucks 
I'll link these down below. This is great for the shower in between washes, not wanting to get your hair wet. Absolutely love this. Use I literally have like a little bin and I pick one up every time I take a shower when I'm not washing my hair. And it just helps to like not get a lot of water like on my roots because if my roots get, start to get wet, that's when my curly hair starts coming in and it's just like trying to not have to put a lot of heat on my hair. You know, the whole situation with that. So yeah, but that would be all of my hair care favorites. And then some of them are very bougie, but these are all things I really recommend. If you have any type of like dry, coarse, textured hair, these are amazing. And if anybody has any recommendations for somebody who is no longer going to do Brazilian blowouts, please let me know down below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at yes, honey, honey. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.